I just tested out my uh, air cushion theory. I was using it in the car. I done a hundred mile trip, and I'm here to report it back. My theory is that we sh air cushions are the only cushions we should be using. All other types should be abolished. I used this Tesco one at a very low thingy, two pound. I've got four points. First of all, it worked well, so, and I'll talk about that later. Point two, my neck froze up around about the 80 mile mark, the 70 mark. It got so bad that I couldn't really look around, you know, if I had to look around, I had to swivel, swivel my hip, like. So, but I've got an explanation for that, I think. I think that's because the pressure was so uh, spread out that my neck was getting a bit of pressure that it wasn't used to before. So uh, I'm thinking that's a temporary thing. And it might even tighten up my neck muscles and it might might give me better posture, you know. Because uh, my lower back, back was fine, the 100 miles, so I worked there. It was either that, I've got a few theories, it was either that or uh, something like maybe it means I'm using my my feet differently and the, the, the pressure when you use your feet is getting sp spread around your body differently, I don't know, but... I don't think it was that. It could be though, you know. Point three, I think you really need to keep it a really low thing, mate, because that doesn't look as if it's got much in it, but when you sit in it and you're 100 kilograms of weight, it's going on it, you know, it, it really is. Yeah, because in the car I definitely move about, you know, from side to side and that, so I, I don't see how I could inflate it high, but... Like I say, it's enough, it's like a cartilage, you know, that's what I think of it, as a cartilage, that's what it's acting like. And point four is, the next day I used it like that in the car, and that was better. And I suppose the less side area there is of the air cushion, it's better because uh, there's less place for you to swing about in a car. Because that is a problem with air cushions in cars, you, when you're turning, you you don't actually slide like that, you just your bum, bum slide sorts of like that, you know. Because this cushion doesn't look as if it's got a lot, but when you start folding it up, you know, that's the halfway point, it's almost, it's probably too much in there actually, for a car. So I would put it like that in a car. Yeah. I've got a back injury that requires me to have a hard surface for it, so eh. Uh, I wasn't using a cushion at the back, but I would recommend that if you've got a normal back, no back problem, I think it's going to even be even better. So if my back was normal, I would just, I would use a back cushion as well, at a very low inflation, I think. Yeah, the frozen neck, that was a bit of a surprise, you know, because it just totally went, but I think it's because those neck muscles probably I'd hardly ever used in my life, you know. Uh, so I'm hoping that that's, that's just a temporary thing that will pass. Um, so I'm still totally in favour of this idea. So as I say, like my lower back was fine and I think that's usually where you're, uh, you know, when you're in a car seat, first it'll be your bum that goes and then your lower back and that's where all the pressure will be, just crumpled up there. So with using an air cushion, I was... Uh, there was no pressure points really, or it was spread out a lot better along the soft tissue. Um, but it was going right up, the pressure was probably going right up to my neck and that. So I think that's why my neck froze around about the 70 mile mark or 80 mile. Um, it took a day for it to recover, but I think that's going to be a temporary. The other day uh, I made the claim that uh, this will do away with sweaty bum. But I'm not sure it will, actually, when you think about it, because it's not breathable, is it? I mean, can you make breathable air cushions? Is that not defeat the purpose? I don't know. But it's, this is nice anyway, because it's felt or whatever, or suede, but it's probably plastic underneath, I don't know. But uh, I don't think it's any different to an ordinary cushion, although that's probably absorbing thing, me, but... Uh, I didn't really notice anything in the car about that anyway, but uh, it's in the house I noticed it the other day, uh, which was a surprise to me, because I thought the air getting through would be a sort of good, 
air conditioner or something, you know, but I don't know. Yeah, in a car, in the house I'm experimenting with the, the air pressure, you know, of how much you put in it and that. Because in bed I find that for these ones, I've blown them up a bit more because it fits in nuts and crannies, like between your neck and shoulder and stuff. You know, that sort of thing. So I'm putting them up higher than I was. I never blow any of them up totally, 100%, because to me that sort of defeats the purpose, because then you've got a sort of a brick, really, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't want a bit of give, at least. And uh, I was working in the theory you want almost zero in it, but uh, I'm not sure now, you know. Not for bed anyway, but uh, for the car, you need to keep them really low, I think. This, this, the bum one anyway, because uh, you move about, you know, if it's too high. Not this thing where your bum, you know, sort of sway, you sway, you see? So, uh, but as long as you've got enough that's acting like a cartilage, you know, that's what I think. And uh, it really worked well for me, I really, it was good. I'll, t I'll try this one next time. Uh, this is Home Bargains, £1.49. Um, I think I prefer these ones because I like the material better as well and it's both sides, you know. It's that sort of felt stuff. I mean, the Tesco one hasn't got it both sides. So, uh, yeah, I prefer these ones and I prefer these, this shape because it's more like a balloon, as I said, you know. It's a free spirit. Yeah, as I say, I think all other cushions, it's uh, a false economy, you know. They, they're doing the opposite of what you think in both ways. They're not giving you support and they're not... And they're sort of crushing your lower back as well. Whereas uh, these do the two things. They they give you support by booming up. And uh, they also give you the, the pre spread out the pressure. So they give you the padding, you know. We can have a cushion bonfire night. So that's it then. As I say, I think air cushions are an essential travel item. You can fold them up totally. And like I say, in a plane, you could uh, blow that up quite high, put it in your face and lean against the chair in front of you in economy class. And you're really treating yourself when you, you do that. Plus, you'll be sitting in one as well, you know. Um, so, that sort of idea, not just for the car, you know, for uh, any, a bus or whatever, but always carry air cushions. That's it.